Hey guys, Virtual 7 here, and today I'm here with a brand new freaking mod. Uh, and a little bit of an explanation as to what's going to be going on in the future. Uh, first of all, I wanted to point out the new uh, title of this video. Well, it's not really new. Well, I guess it is kind of new because it's different, but all titles of my videos are different from the last one. But this time, is from now on, it's not going to be different from the last one, kind of, because, um... Each of my new modding videos will have modding madness in it because I decided to make them into a series. So that it's easier for me to categorize and upload uh, and also it's easier for people to find them because I'm going to be putting them into playlists. And yeah, I, I just also kind of felt that it should be put into a specific playlist because, I don't know, I felt like it. So, uh, yeah, the new series is called Modding Madness. It's, there's nothing new to it at all, except for a new schedule that's going to be going on. Uh, I'm going to be uploading a video every Tuesday and Thursday, or at least I'm going to try to. If I do not, I promise you that I will at least try as hard as I freaking can to get it out, uh, out to you the next day. Or maybe I'll upload it the day before. I don't know. I'll freaking decide later. You're gonna die. Um, so, yeah, that's gonna, what's gonna be going on for a little bit. Um, also, the mod review. This is a mod review, obviously. You already saw the name of the, uh, mod in the title. But, I'm gonna say it anyway. It's a damage indicator mod! This mod is fucking awesome! I love this mod. Um, it, you know, displays what you're looking at in the top left corner. Um, it also shows the name of the creature and the health of the creature um and it also displays what kind of mob it is and it also shows if it's passive or not and the way that it does that is um at the bottom left corner of the um profile picture of this um of the enemy or maybe it's not an enemy ignore that uh it will show a yeah, that well symbol of what it is at the bottom left corner. The uh, a paw print means that it is uh, an animal, and red means that it is um, a hostile. As well as a villager has a little helmet, which makes it a human or humanoid character, and um, it is green, which makes it passive, which makes it the only human passive mob in this game. I just thought that was a little interesting to point out. You probably already knew that. I just found that really interesting and think they need to add more mobs into this game. Uh, so yeah, let's demonstrate something dying like Charo is now dead. Yes. Uh, sorry, I have to kill Charles in each video. I we we just I I just hate him. I hate him so much. He's such an asshole. He's so inconsiderate of everyone. He's uh, he's he's like that asshole um, at a party who's just like um, hitting on your girlfriend constantly, or or that really awkward kid who always hangs out with you and makes like the worst jokes ever. Uh, I, I actually take that back, because I usually am that guy who sits in the background and makes fun, I mean, makes, um, joke, the worst jokes ever. But, um, no, Charles is an asshole. I just like to kill him. So I do. So, I just want to show you how different, a uh, few of the different mobs in this, in the, uh, vanilla Minecraft shows up. Uh, so Pig is obviously an animal, and it's green, uh, down at the bottom with the animal icon is, so that makes it passive, but we already knew that. Uh, Creeper, he's also an animal. I really thought that should have been a penis, because this is obviously a walking green exploding penis. Uh, and if you hadn't uh, guessed, it, I, it, it, it's, it's, um, it's not passive. It's not passive at all. It hates everything and wants to kill us! And kill our, and, and destroy our creations that took us like weeks to make. And then we got the Skeletor. Skeletor is a skeleton. It says it at the bottom left corner and the top right corner. Um, yeah, that's a little skull for its... Uh, I'm just gonna let him fucking burn. Fuck him. Uh, it has the little um, skull at the bottom left corner, which symbolizes that it, it's a skeleton. And it's red, which makes him, you know, deadly. Rotten. Or kill. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, spider. 
Uh, spider, uh, chosen a little spider symbol. I'm guessing that either means spider or insect because it is not the only creature that has that. Silverfish also has that, so I'm gonna say it means insect because I know for a fact silverfish is not a fucking spider. Um, and they're both red because, you know, they attack you and hate you and want to eat you. So kill them the second you see them. Die. Yes. Yes, you will all die. Nail the- Fuck you! No, fuck you, I'm gonna- Ha! Kill them. I am victorious. <laughs> um, what I have left? Uh, oh, yeah, and then zombie, which is also the skull, so I guess the skull does not mean, you know, skeleton. I guess it just means hostile mob, apparently. I don't know. I'm gonna let him attack this uh, villager because he will now make. Oh crap! Not nah, gonna make it. Uh, so yeah, that basically is the. Yeah, that's basically really it. Um, it works on all mobs in the vanilla Minecraft, and also works on most mods that um add new creatures to the game, such as most. Mo's creeps, uh, Mo's creatures, more creeps and weirdos, and, uh, other giant, um, mods that add to the game, like, um, I don't, I don't, I don't know any off the top of my head, like, I guess, um, Divine RPG mod does that, um, there's a few others that I, I played, but I forgot, like, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I should have thought of some mods before. Anyway, it doesn't freaking matter. Uh, I also want to show you that it works on in a in multiplayer, even if the multiplayer server does not have it installed. Now, on the forum page, it has it says it has to be installed on the server, um, but I'm guessing that's for everybody to have it uh, because it definitely does work on multiplayer. Uh, I checked last night, and unless. I was seriously sleep deprived, which is a complete and utter possibility. Um, it, it works. So uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to see if I can go find some dude in the server that I play on and uh, show you that it works. Okay, be right back. So here we are in a random server that I decided to uh, join because I didn't really feel like going very far to find something. Uh, and as you can see, it is working. Um, you can see the players' names. Uh, their skins and uh, their health, which is really helpful if you are going into a PvP world, which I believe this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave uh, because there is a part of the mod that I forgot to showcase. So I'm gonna go back to my little creative uh, abode and show you guys that. So I will be right back. So yeah, one last thing about this mod that should be shown a little bit of lag spike there, and we're better. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to show about this mod was. Um, the customization options of it. Now, I spawn a skeleton. Why is it not dying? I don't know. Oh, something's going down. Okay, so I sp oh, okay, now it's dying. All right, so I spawn a skeleton. You see it in the uh, little um, screen over there, the little uh, user interface uh, to the left, uh, as I showcased before. Well, there are other skins for that and other versions of that. So, uh, to change what it looks like. You click the period button by default, but I believe you can actually change that. Um, yeah, see? Uh, reposition mob portrait is period, but you can change that. I'm not going to change that because there's no reason to. So I hit period. Hello? Oh, oh okay, there we go. And it shows me. Um, Dan is a 101, is, the mine, is my Minecraft user. Uh, it, and this is my skin. Yeah, get over it. Uh, it shows my health, and I'm I'm passive. Apparently, I didn't fucking know that. Uh, so you can uh, disable portrait, enable it. Um, oh, and that's actually something else I forgot. You can actually see the potion effects that you put on something. So say, for some reason, I want to give this um, skeleton night vision because it's totally not OP enough. It has night vision, and I have night vision as well. But it shows that it has night vision now. Uh, or, I wanted to give it strength. Oh wait, that's not a splash potion strength. I wanted to give it strength. Strength! Here! Has strength! He is now will be able to kill me very easily. Because that's the strength potion of one. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's the strength potion. Alright, so, um... But then I decided to kill it because fuck you. Poison! I'm poisoning you! Why is it not working? Well... 
That's depressing. Depressing. Um, I'll give you uh, Pokemon Farming. Oh, that's not good. Come on, game. Don't be a bitch. Pokemon Farming. I have no idea what the fuck's going on with this room. Oh, it heals them. I forgot about that. Okay, so yeah, it shows potion effects, so you can go ahead and hit period, and you can turn off potion effects and it goes away, and turn back, turn back on, you see that I actually have the things I was chucking at them as well. Uh, you can also disable pop-offs, honestly, uh, I'm not 100% sure what those are, but whatever. Uh, you can change the size of it, say I wanted it, I don't fucking know, nine. 79 instead of 75. Maybe I want it. 100. 100 is too big. Let's go ahead and decrease that by a lot. Let's turn it back to 75. That was good. Uh, you can also reposition it. I'm going to put it in the center because I'm cool like that. Uh, you can change the damage color. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to make it red. That's not red. Come on, red. Kill color. Fucking green. Blue. That's not green. Okay. Uh, and also you can change the skin. That's the default skin. This is unskinned. Clean. Uh, this is unskinned. Clean skin. Middle. All right. Hold on. I've gotta change that. Yeah, I've gotta change this back to this position. This is really bad. It's, it's, uh. All right. So this is unskinned. Clean skin. Minimal skin, which won't show. Uh, it won't show the portrait. Uh, and wow like, which will look kind of like a wow thing. I like clean best. Um, so yeah, that's basically it about this. Well, there's also advanced settings, which is you can change um, what shows up in um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, and you can change what shows up in the mod. Uh, you can also change how it shows up in the mod, but that's not really that important. Um, you, well, it is, uh, you can, like, if you want other mods that don't normally show up on there, show up. Uh, you can manually input them. You can also take them out if you want. Uh, like, if you felt that was giving you an unfair advantage, you can take it out. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it about this mod. Uh, hope you guys like this video. Hope you guys are excited for the future of my modding series. Uh, and I promise, modding is not going to be the only thing that I'm doing. Um, I just cannot do anything as of yet because of school. Because school kind of has to take priority because I don't feel like not passing. Uh, so in the summer, I have a bunch of series planned. Uh, and I, pr I swear that I will not uh, be as lazy as I normally am, hopefully. And uh, I will try and do shit. So, yeah. Um, fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, see you guys next time after I commit some genocide. <laughs> Die! Die for me! <laughs> <laughs> uh, mobs don't die from me, so do they? So, oh yeah, they do. What the fuck does a skeleton not die? Fuck you! Everything else dies, you don't. Fuck. <coughs> okay, see you guys next time. Bye.